I'm Soledad O'Brien, and this is Matter of Fact. A chaotic week in Washington by any standard. President Trump fires FBI Director James Comey, the man leading an investigation into the possible role of Trump associates in helping Russia interfere with a U.S. presidential election. The timing raising monumental concerns and coming just after Comey issued subpoenas and asked for more resources. The Democrats have their own dilemma. They were calling for Director Comey to be fired over his handling of Hillary Clinton's email probe, but now say he's essential to an impartial investigation of Russian meddling into the election. Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez was Assistant Attorney General and Labor Secretary in the Obama administration and was on the short list to be Hillary Clinton's running mate. We spoke to him at the DNC. Is there a contradiction in Democrats who have, I think it's fair to say, long been unhappy with James Comey? Hillary Clinton to this day, in part at least, blames him for her election loss, now saying, oh, wait a minute, James Comey should not have been fired. Not in the least. I had significant concerns as a former DOJ employee with what Director Comey did uh, in the eve of the election. But that had absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump's decision to fire Director Comey. He fired Director Comey because of the Russia investigation. That borders on obstruction of justice. That is an affront to our democracy. And that is why you see Republicans and Democrats saying, uh, this isn't right. And that's why we need an independent uh, prosecutor and frankly we need an independent 9-11 type commission to look at this because this is serious stuff this is an affront on our democracy Democrats some are saying they will oppose any FBI nominee unless uh, Republicans agree to some kind of an investigation do you agree with I that? couldn't agree more with really? that any and I've been Republican calling, any nominee we need to get to the bottom of what happened in the 2016 election it is clear to me that there was Russian interference. And it is equally clear to me that we need to make sure we have an independent investigation. And what happens is we have to use leverage that we have. And we cannot have an FBI director on board until we have this assurance. So who on the other side of the aisle do you feel like you can work with, that they are, there's someone who, who you could be a partner with in this? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I hope there are many. You can't need and one. Here, well, I mean, here's, here's what I often reflect on, Soledad, which is, uh, you know, during the Watergate era, that wasn't, in the end, an, an issue of Republicans and Democrats. That was the issue of Americans, patriots, protecting our democracy. And, and what I find notable about the Watergate era that I hope Republicans will look at is that people from both sides of the aisle understood that this is bigger than me. This is about who we are as a nation. Who's that person and I, now and for I you? I hope that who, folks who, will get out there. I hope that who, who's I the hope person? Senator McCain mm -hmm. uh, will, will get out there. I hope, I hope the Republican leadership in both the House and the Senate puts our country above their own partisan interests. There are no such things as alternative facts. I know that from working at the Department of Justice. There is the truth. And the best way to get to the truth is to have independent investigations. And one of the best ways to get there is for Republicans and Democrats to come together because so much is at stake here. It, it, it transcends party. This is about our country. Is there a risk to constantly being embattled over these issues that you don't get to focus on getting work done? And so when you look back, the public says nothing got done. It was just more fighting, more hearings, more drama. Well, we, we've been working hard to get a lot done. For instance, preserving access to health care for millions of Americans, tens of millions of whom have uh, pre-existing conditions, making sure that if you have diabetes that uh, you're not going to lose your health care. So we've been fighting for the issues that are really keeping people up at night, making sure that we can lift wages. Uh, for everyone and not just give tax breaks for a few at the top. Those are the issues that Democrats care about. Tom Perez, nice to talk to you. Thanks for having Always us. Always a pleasure to be with you.